It's your boy King Jeezy Hip Hop Live. It's your boy King Jeezy Hip Hop Live. Back in the building. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button, man. Become, you know, a member of Jeezy Gang, Double G, y'all, you know I man. I ain't gonna jump you in. Just hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button, baby. Y'all, you know I man. Now, with that being said, man, I seen this video. I got the clip, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the clip after I'm done talking this shit. But I got this, uh, it's this video, man. It's this, it's this, uh, it's this light skin nigga. The nigga look like, uh, he look like motherfucking um, ludicrous and shit, man. And he, uh, he he talking about um, Young Pharaoh and shit. Supposed he had, he's supposed to see Young Pharaoh and shit. He's supposed to go to like a little banquet, like a little party and shit. He's supposed to see him, and he paid money for this shit, and he ain't show up, bro. You know what I'm saying? He said Young Pharaoh ain't show up and shit, man. Young Pharaoh, man. I ain't been on your ass in a minute, bro, but I'm starting to wonder, bro, like, you scamming motherfuckers, bro? I know you got a big following on YouTube. I know you be doing your thing, but is you scamming niggas, bro? Because this is like the third nigga that said this shit, bro. I seen YK, the truth, he he put his little two cents in on you, you know what I'm saying? He exposed you a little bit, bro, but I'm, I'm hearing more shit, though. Like, you know, fair, you scamming motherfuckers, bro? Like, come on, bro. Can't be doing shit like this, man. You ain't no better than Umar Johnson if you scamming motherfuckers, young Farrell. Seriously, bro. Knock the fuck off if you are, bro. Seriously. But while further ado, man, I'm gonna show, show you guys the clip, man. You know, watch this brother. This brother look like Ludacris, man. All right, I'm out, man. No, nah. This nigga just trying to get over on us. Nah, this don't see. This nigga, these niggas is trying to play us, bro. I'm not falling for this shit. So I'm like, nah. We gonna wait till everybody gets here, and then we gonna come out to see if they charge them the same prices. So we waiting here. And then, this is where I caught this nigga Young Pharaoh in the scam. This nigga is in a private group chat with females, right? It's for the it's for this is for the party buzz. So the so whole time he has a whole female group chat with females on the party buzz, talking about everything that they about to do for the for the whole DC event. Come come to find out. The girl that I'm with is in a pro and her and she has a man that drove us to the martinis. She's in a group chat with Young Pharaoh and then she's addressing the, the situation. Young Pharaoh, he says, they ask some girl in the group chat says it's twenty dollars for the event, ten dollars for something else. So I'm like, whoa, why is prices different from everybody's perspective? What the fuck is niggas talking about? So she says she addresses Young Pharaoh. She's like, yo, Young Pharaoh, why ain't nobody here? Why ain't nobody here? Whatever. Da 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 da. This nigga says, he tells everybody in that female group chat, he says this. I'm not showing up because the because these niggas is talking about the capacity for the party and then the uh, the prices is not right. So he posted that in the own in that group chat. He only tells that group chat, bro. He didn't bro, and and it's crazy because he only texted that in that fucking group chat to them females. Remind you, we sitting here waiting this whole time for this nigga to come. He addresses this shit. We we here for like an hour and thirty minutes now. Remind you, it started at ten. It's it's about it's like ten thirty seven when he posted. He says I'm not showing up because this nigga says that at ten thirty seven. So I'm like, yo, why the fuck did he ain't address this publicly on this Instagram to let everybody know? That don't seem right. He should let everybody know on the Instagram so there ain't no confusion. Or he should at least pull up to the venue and address er to everybody that this this um he ain't coming. He didn't do that at all. He didn't not do that shit at all, my nigga. He didn't post it on his Instagram story to let people know he was not showing up. He didn't even let people know that the bouncer was trying to scam people because I told him, I told the girl to address him for like, yo... These, this nigga just tried to scam us for our fucking bread. He only let those girls in that group chat know that this, he's not showing up to the venue. So I'm like, no, bro. This nigga's scamming. He just tried to get us for our fucking bread. These niggas is all in cahoots. And they set this whole shit up to get everybody's money for whatever the fuck their purpose was. Even even the bitch Joy who promoted the Virginia party was trying to get niggas, in, in, um, get niggas money too because you had to pay before you got to the shit and nobody was there. And remind you, Young Fred was supposed to be at that first one to let people know that he's there. He didn't address this at all on his Instagram page at all. And everybody who was there could vouch for me, nigga. This is not, this is not no lie. Don't lie on nobody's name, bro. This nigga just tried to scam everybody for their fucking bread. And I'm about to tell you what, why the fuck he tried to, what he's doing, why he's say he was supposed to come to this event where, where, before, and he didn't even address it.